Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back. It is time for some more UHS 3 action here with Snorsby today, episode number 27. And uh, I'm in the nether because I've got a little experiment I want to try out before we really get into things today. I said that we were going to go dungeoneering, but that'll come a little later. I want to see first whether or not, uh, because I was spawning the skeletons in the overworld, maybe I couldn't spawn with the skeletons there. I don't know. So we're going to try out that experiment here again. Now, I've got a little bit of mob essence in here. Um, so we'll just try this, get out, the obsidian glass there, now fingers crossed, we'll see if we can get some things to spawn, hopefully won't, not too many will spawn with 4,000 mob essence in there, but we'll see, so, yeah, I've built myself a little container, yes, awesome, that's worked, however, why can't I access, yes I can, awesome, with the skeletons, are they Willis Wither Skeletons? Come here. Alright, so it looks like we're going to have to set up ourselves. Ooh. Oh, this is going to be hectic. Ooh. Skeleton. There we go. And we can still kill them all. Awesome. And we're getting Wither Heads. Okay, so this is going to change the whole game. We are not going Dungeoneering then. Because, instead what we can do is use the Wither Skulls to spawn a Wither. And get ourselves uh, a division sigil that way so that's what we're gonna do so we go ahead and kill the rest of these guys and hopefully not die in here while doing so and uh, I'll meet you guys back when we're ready to keep working here I might need to get myself a ranged weapon no, maybe not we'll see how we go all right I'll see you guys in just a sec and we are ready to keep going on this but that is a successful what the hell is that thing a Spitfire skelly I have no idea how I'm going to get to him. Hmm. Interesting. What can I throw at him? Um. I don't have a ranged weapon. Alright, this is going to be interesting. I want to get my spawner and stuff back because I borrowed it. Alright, YOLO. Alright, well, that works. Cool beans, I'll see you guys at the base in just a second. Okay, so we're back at the spawner here, and we're going to set up this new one. Now, the skeleton with the 18 HP is our wither skelly. Now, we want to uh, ex spawn exact copy, otherwise we're going to get normal skeletons, and that's not what we really want. So, uh, it is a little bit more expensive on the mob essence, but we can easily save that by just running that thing over there and killing some stuff. But uh, yeah, we should slowly get some more Wither Skeleton Skulls here. And we're going to have to set ourselves up a little area here that's Witherproof. Um, and uh, battle that thing down, which should be good fun. Alright, look at that. Wither Skellies. So, I did manage to get myself a Necrotic Bone out of that. And uh, what we can actually do is go ahead and make ourselves a little uh, canister now. Actually, you know what? Because we made the, those... Uh, Chandeliers before. We don't have any diamonds, so I don't think we're going to be able to make a jeweled apple after this. Let me have a quick look. Yes, we need diamonds, and I don't have any. Alright, I'm going to have to run the farms for a little bit, but uh, yeah, we can make that little heart canister. Actually, how many have I got? We might just have enough. We will. Alright. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Cool. Alright, so how's this thing running? Are they running? No, right, there we go, that's probably why they're not doing anything. Ticking down, awesome. Hopefully we get a few more skulls. There we go, now they're getting destroyed. Please skulls, please skulls. Maybe not. Plenty of coal. <laughs> and normal bones. Alright, I'll let that run for a little bit here. Hopefully there's enough juice in the network. If not, I'll just monitor it. She'll be sweet. Alright, so... Let's turn all these into diamonds. Oh, I also made myself one of those uh, reinforced chests up here from better storage. And I've been putting the potions and stuff in there, getting ready to go dungeoneering. Uh, we need an apple, which I have downstairs here somewhere. Beautiful. Wait, come here. Where'd that go? Oh, straight in the inventory. I've also got a wrath shard that I think we can use for some bombcraft stuff later on, which will be interesting. Uh-oh. Aluminium, please tell me. No! I don't have enough aluminium for this. Hmm. 
How can I get more? See, I should have made myself some aluminium seeds while we were at it. Darn it, I'm going to have to go mining. Well, that is a shame. Well, let's make this jeweled apple real quick. Regardless. Like we have a good supply of emeralds and gold now. Make this a little easier on ourselves. All right, jeweled apple. So all we need now is the miniature heart and the heart canister, which I need aluminium for. I don't have any of it. So I'm going to go mining here real quick, guys. I will be right back when we are ready to finish making this thing. And hopefully by then, we'll start working on a wither spawner. So that should be good fun. I will see you guys in just a sec. Okay, guys. So I've gone in and done a bit of mining here, and I've got myself some aluminium ingots. So I'm going to get onto that here in a second. But I want to set this thing up to run for even longer because... I want to get myself some more, um, some of those little red hearts. If we can search them up, oh, H probably the word. Yep, I want to get some more of these miniature red hearts, and we can only get them from uh, mobs dying. So we're gonna to have to set that up. I think what we're gonna do is get the zombies spawning. And uh, I've moved my uh, trash can here into the middle, and I've set up a filter on it. I haven't got anything in the filter just yet because I don't know what to uh, what to filter out, but. Uh, yeah, so, I'm just going to get rid of some of this trash in this chest here, in this strong box. That as well. Oh, that's got power too. That's actually not too bad. But uh, what we're planning on doing uh, for the next little bit is getting prepared to fight a wither. Now, I thought about making ourselves a little bit of a wither battle arena with uh, a warding, um, with a focus of warding. But if you look at that, you need a, a nether star. So, and I can't think of any other ways to uh, build ourselves a blast-proof sort of area. So it's pretty much guaranteed we have to fight this thing full legit. Um, so that's going to be interesting for you guys to watch. So actually what we might do is set this thing up for skeletons. Just get rid of that because I want to get these necrotic bones as well. So we may as well... Um, actually, you know what? Yeah, we'll set it up to do the wither skelly. And we'll see how we go. So here. What else are we going to put on this filter? Probably just the bones for now. See how we go with that. Chuck those away. Anything else? Probably the coal. And that's it for now. We've got plenty of that stuff going around the place. Okay, let's get this thing turned on. Where is the... with a skelly skull? Ah, spawner. Safari net thing. There we go. That's it's already in there. All right, let's let's do this. Let's fill up with some essence and let this thing run for a bit. Hopefully, we get some more mini miniature red hearts out of it. All right, that thing can run. So, for those of, that have not fought a wither just yet, uh, what happens is you put down your soul sand and your three heads, and then after a little while, the uh, the wither sort of builds up its health up at the top part of the bar. Uh, top part of the screen up here, and then uh, once it gets to full health, it causes a big explosion, and uh, we want to be a fair distance away from that, and then the actual fight itself is sort of split up into two different bits, so the first half of the fight is a ranged attack, where he's going to be sending heaps and heaps of projectiles at us, uh, I'm actually going to use these potions in the fight, funnily enough, uh, not for the magnet torches just yet, um, so yeah, first part of the fight, he's going to be sending wither skulls at you, and they explode and give you withering, uh, if you're not careful. And then the second half of the fight when you get into half health is uh, a melee sort of rain, uh, a melee um, battle. So um, that is how it's split up into two. And the whole time he regens health as well. So um, you got to sort of keep on top of it. All right, let's get ourselves a heart canister. Is this a shapeless? Let's find out. i actually click it in there. All right, there you go. Red heart canister. So if we put this in... Yeah, I guess. I don't know whether or not we have to uh, give ourselves some regen here so that we can uh, get this thing to recharge. There we go. So yes, now you can see it's filling up one little heart. So the more of those we have, the more health we have. And uh, that's always a handy thing to do. Uh, when you're fighting a wither. All right, so like I said, the uh, first part of the battle here is going to be ranged, and we don't have any ranged weapons. So what I want to get is a a needle gun. So um, craft these things through a various. Oh, we need a lava crystal. I think we've got enough stuff for that. But uh, yeah, this is like a, a nice little little gun thing that you can use um, to fire needles out, um, and we should have all the materials for it. So. 
I'm going to craft this thing real quick. Luckily, uh, we've got a whole heap of plastic. What I'm also going to do while I'm waiting here is get a whole heap of rubber bars so we can make debt cord. So I'm going to need a stack of rubber. Get that schmelting up. Awesome. So what else did I need? I needed some glass. I should have grabbed some out of here. See, we're going to need a heap of that rubber bar. So I'll get that cooking while we craft up the initial bits. All right. One spyglass. What else? It's firing at launcher. So two gunpowder and two glowstone. Then we're going to need four blaze rods, I think, eventually. One redstone. Hmm. Didn't like that. Oh, I think we need some steel. Yes, we did. Awesome. All right. So we're going to need how much more steel? Four more steel. What else are we going to need? We're going to need our lava crystal. Just three fire charges, which we may have downstairs. What were they dropping before? I know one mob that we were killing just before was dropping them. Maybe even these guys. Yeah, see, we have three of them. One of them, one particular type, uh, drops them, so. I think it's like a blazing one. Is there a way to make them? Not like that. Oh yeah, you can make him anyway. All right, doesn't matter. So I'll just go ahead and make him here in a second. Let's see how, how our filter's set up. So, oh, I need a blank hand, don't I? Um, arrows. Bows. That'll do. All right, I'm going to turn this thing on to self-kill. Totally forgot to do that before when we set it up. That's all right. It goes through the uh, essence very quickly when you're... Uh, Spawning exact copies. So, we'll see how this thing goes. All right, let's empty this inventory again. I always seem to get bloody full inventory when we do this sort of stuff. We also need a bucket of lava, which we can get upstairs. No issues at all. I'm going to want to get ourselves a few apples here as well, just in case. Make ourselves a few god apples or notch apples or whatever. All right, bucket of lava. Where's the bucket? Oh, already in my... Hot bar, cool beans. So what do we need for the fire charge? We needed... Oh, I hate how it does that. Uh, gunpowder, coal, and blaze. Powder. Blaze, gunpowder, and one coal, I believe. Cool. All right. After that, and then... One lava crystal. Awesome. So we should have everything now, I think, to craft this thing. Awesome. Needle gun. So next thing we're going to need is a few of these needle gun magazines, which are pretty straightforward. How much steel have we got? going to need a bit more than that. Um, what is the recipe for steel? I know you can uh, make it in the... So it's two pipe rolls, coal, four charcoal, and one iron. So I'm going to get... Then I'm going to need 16... Actually, I'll just get 16 iron. Get this thing smelting up in the induction smelter. Awesome. All right, I'm also processing a whole heap of stuff here that I was uh, working with earlier after I came back from the mining trip, so... All right. In the meantime, what are we going to need for the needles? So... There's a whole heap of different needles, but I found in the testing that I've been doing, these ones are good because there's 12 in there and they do reasonable damage, so I think we'll just go with this. Um, so this is why we need the debt cord. So we're going to need to make some TNT. Let's see how much uh, gunpowder we've got. We might have some downstairs as well in one of these chests. Gunpowder. Awesome. Plenty there. Three necrotic bones. What else have we get? No more little miniature red hearts. We might have to just change it to the zombies to do this because it's uh, taking so much, um, so much XP. All right, gunpowder from memory is like that, and then we need some sand. Awesome. Get eight of them, and then where's the rubber? Cool beans. Uh, I think it was surrounded like that. Oh, 
Okay, so we didn't need quite that many. Oh well. Yes, we have it now. So, let's grab the steel. We get eight of them should be enough, I think. Um, so now we need a heap of arrows, which we should have downstairs. Or did I just chuck those all out then? I may have just thrown all the arrows out that we were collecting. Ah, oh, dang it. So I'm going to have to make a whole heap now. Hmm, how many feathers have I got? What's the actual recipe for these arrows? Hmm. Oh, we got plenty of air. Oh, actually, I can just use skeletons. That's right, we can use these skeleton seeds. Let's grab a whole heap of those. Chuck a few things out here. I need the dispenser. I need that. Screw the bow. She'll be right. Um, everything should be fine. Let's chuck those in there as well. And now, I'll run back upstairs here and craft all this up. And we should be nearly close to actually getting ready to fight this thing, so, um, arrows. See, look at that. Plenty of them. Alright, so, uses. So we're going to have, a, in total here, 6 by 12 that's roughly about 72 shots, which should be enough, I think. Um... But we'll see how we go. And also our cleaver here. What did we end up making this out of? I can't even remember whether or not that was manulin or not. Or manillion, whatever. You, I don't even remember what the actual name for it is. Um, how to pronounce it. So, what else are we going to need here? We've got our potions. I think we're nearly ready to go. Let me charge up my jetpack. We'll just do it live. So I've t I tested this in the Twilight Forest as well. And uh, I've managed to figure out the best strategy, I think, will be, if we look on our map, to head over to this area here where there's plenty of this sort of flat area that we don't mind destroying. And then we'll spawn him and then just fly backwards and shoot him as he's flying. And then right at the end, leech on, like, jump onto him and melee him down super quickly. And then hopefully we'll have enough uh, potions here to do it. So, should be good to go. Let me clean up my inventory a tad here, guys. When I come back, we will be good to go fight this thing. And uh, see how we go. Fingers crossed we don't die. I'll see you guys in just a second when we're ready to take him on. Okay, guys, it is time to fight. Let's do this. So I've got everything ready here. I've got my cleaver. I've got my needle gun. Four golden apples. All my armor charged fully. And regen two potions. Health two. Instant health potions. Strategy is good in my head. Fingers crossed we don't do this. I'm a little nervous right now. Because we're going to have to clutch up here and uh, get this thing... Going good. So we also want to make sure our jetpack is in hover mode so that we don't go flying. All right, here we go. Fight is on. So he's charging up. All right. All right, we've got to tag him once and then he'll come get us. There we go. So slowly taking him down. See, the gun reloaded there. So I'm a bit quiet doing this, I'm concentrating. Alright, he's nearly half health. Alright, he's into melee tempo. Uh, where'd he go? He's getting there. Oh, he's nearly dead. We tagged. Oh, we got him! Yoo! Alright, so now we go down. And watching our health here, we'll put on regen. So that, we can see here, we aren't going to be losing hearts quick enough. So we'll keep feeding ourselves regen until Wither's worn off. But look at that. Two Division Sigils and a Nether Star. Awesome. I'm so glad that worked out. Whew. Hectic. All right. So I just got to wait until uh, our regen buff disappears here. I'll apply a new one. Put this Withering 2 away. And uh, wow, I'm glad that worked. And we also got ourselves a miniature Yellow Heart as well. So... Um, once we go ahead and make ourselves a few uh, more things here, we can actually use these nether stars to get uh, the warding stone and make this thing a little bit easier to fight more with us in the future and get more of these yellow hearts. Um, but if you look at the uses of these, you can make these yellow heart canisters, which are the uh, next tier for the red heart ones. So pretty cool. All right, guys, I will meet you back at the base when we're ready to activate this division sigil, probably, so we can make our pickaxe, so we can make our quarry like we planned from a long time ago. So I'll see you guys in just a sec. 
All right, guys, so it is time to activate our division sigil that I don't seem to have on me. Oh, man, don't tell me I left it in the overworld, uh, in the Twilight Forest. Let's go quickly fix that then. Ah, oh, dear, I thought I was prepared. But what you're going to need to do for this is uh, you need your divis division sigil, uh, of course, <laughs> that I have forgotten here. Uh, but you're also going to need your, an, an enchanting table, uh, 64 redstone, and a sacrifice. Now, yeah, to get a sacrifice, it doesn't really matter what it is, I think. Uh, but I'm going to use a pig or a sheep or a cow, one of the three. Um, where did I put the division sigils? Right there. Silly me. All right, so uh, to pick one of those up, you can either use, um, like we have been so far, we've been using uh, safari nets from MFR, but I've made myself a golden lasso, and uh, that can pick them up as well and move them around. So we're going to try that. And uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is... Hopefully get this set up by the time nightfall comes. Hopefully it's not too far away. Why I put that there? Because that is annoying as hell. Alright, let's see if we can find ourselves a sheep or something. What is that thing? A werecat. Right. Alright, we well need a sacrifice. Guess we won't find one out here. Oh, there we go. There's a sheep. Let's just pick this here. Pick him up. I just right click. And now it's storing the sheep. Awesome. So... Let's go ahead and build ourselves a little sacrificial podium, I guess. i got to be careful. I don't want it, like, just down in the middle of the floor anyway. Um, let's just put it here for now. So, uh, what I'm using here is an angel block, which allows you to put it pretty much any next block that you aim at. So, the recipe for that is some electrum, some obsidian, some air essence, and some feathers, which are pretty straightforward. So, if we go down now and put some dirt. Make a nice little 9 by 9 which I don't think I'll have enough uh, dirt for, so I'm not going to actually build a 9x9 just yet. Oops. Oh dear. It doesn't have to be this big, I'm just building it a little bit bigger. If I could just place stuff <laughs> in the right spots. But, uh, yeah, now, you need a little bit of space here just in case the sheep decides to fall off. You don't have to do this in the air, you can do it on the ground, I'm just doing it in the air because I can. Um, trying to waste a little bit of time. Where's the sun? Oh, good. So we have to wait up here until midnight, uh, and that's when you have to do this, the ritual in the middle of the night. So what I might do is get everything set up, and then I'll meet you guys back here when uh, it is midnight. But to get this fully set up, what you do is you put your enchanting table down, surround it with redstone. And then if you click on it with, or shift click on it with the division sigil, it'll tell you in the middle. So altar must not be lit outside sources. So obviously it's too bright, but uh, when it becomes nighttime, it's fine. And it's too early to sacrifice and it must be made at midnight. So we'll wait till it gets a little bit darker here. Yep, it's in darkness. So we, you can see that the, uh, the different um, criteria here. Altar in circle placed on dirt. Altar has a red sand circle. Now I can see the moon. Altar sufficient natural earth. So yeah. Um, pretty much, so we're just waiting for midnight now, so I'll meet you guys back here in just a sec uh, when we're ready to perform the sacrifice and get ourselves an activated division sigil. Uh, Alright guys, so I think we're somewhat close to midnight, um, a little bit to go, but I thought we may as well talk while we wait here. So, when this thing's activated, what we can actually do here is uh, use diamonds uh, in a crafting table. Alright mate, looks like we're not going to be able to do it, but if we look at the uses, you can make these unstable ingots. Uh, and you've got to be careful with these things, if you make them the unstable way, uh, they have 10 seconds life in your inventory before they blow up, so you've got to be really careful. Or, if you want to be uh, a little bit safer, you can make the uh, semi-stable nuggets, which you use that to make a, a stable, unstable ingot, <laughs> funnily enough, and they don't blow up, so... Uh, yeah, but we need that to make it uh, for our quarry. Our ender quarry, whoops. Yeah, so... Yeah, we also need to make this giga drill thing, so we need shiny ingots for that, and I might need to go mining again to get some more ferrous ore. That's fair enough. All right, where are we at? We're getting pretty close. This thing will start to glow once it's close enough to midnight here. Now, the plan is once this thing goes, all of this is going to turn into cursed earth, which spawns mobs. Uh, you can pick that stuff up if you've got yourself a silk touch uh, pick, but I think because I've got a second division sigil, if we ever want to keep that stuff, we'll just leave it. Um, we'll do it the uh, activation ritual again because this earth, the cursed earth, once it uh, sees sunlight, it's going to burn up and disappear. So, yeah. Um, also might want to think about how we're going to get our enchanting table back. Oh, you can see it glowing. All right, time to perform the sacrifice. Oops, sheep down. You ready? Whoop. 
There we go. So, uh, there. It is glowing, it is active, and I want to get this thing back. Let's get out of here. Well, that worked pretty well. You know what we can do? Let's grab some of this here. I was telling a lie before, we're going to grab some of this stuff. There's no mobs spawning, which is weird. Alright, well. This works. Oi, that was close. <laughs> Alright, well. I'd call that a success. Got a couple bits of cursed earth. Well, one bit anyway, at least. Might just dig a few bits of this up. Collect it all. Alright guys, I will meet you back at the base when we're ready to craft up our unstable ingots and craft up our unstable pickaxe and then hopefully get to uh, making ourselves our quarry. Alright, time for the last dangerous thing for the episode, making ourselves the uh, ender pickaxe. Well, not the ender pickaxe, the unstable axe. Uh, let's actually get the name right here. What is it called? The builder's wand. Or the sword, the destruction pickaxe. It was one of those words, but uh, there you go. I'm going to make this now, so... Fingers crossed we don't blow up now. You're probably asking, why am I doing this in the house? Well, if we blow up, we blow up, so... Alright. So... This ingot is highly unstable and exploded, and after 10 seconds will also explode if the crafting window is closed. So we've got to make sure we don't hit escape. So... Fingers crossed. Here we go. Let's do this. Oof! Crafting mastery like that. Awesome. And it's starting to storm here. So, we have ourselves a destruction pickaxe now, which is nearly getting our components ready for our full quarry. So what do we need? Uh, we need to get this makeshift drill, which needs that shiny ingots and four diamonds. We don't even have any shiny ingots, I don't think, at the moment. No, we don't. Look at that. Let me, um... Have a look here for the recipe. All right, shiny. So you can get it from ferrous ore. Or nether platinum ore, which I haven't found any of yet. So it looks like I'm going to have to go mining in between this episode and next. How are we on time? We might have to call it there, guys. What I'm going to do is go for a little bit of a dig under the uh, mountain over there in our little quarry. Get ourselves, well, not our quarry, in our little tunnel system. Get ourselves a few more ferrous ore so we can make myself a few, a few shiny ingots here and keep working on this quarry. And at the start of the next episode, I'll have it nearly fully crafted. We'll finish it up and then we'll start playing around with it and hopefully. We'll automate some uh, some mining. So that is going to do it for this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the Wither fight. I'm glad that we uh, survived and made it through for another episode here. Um, definitely good signs for things down the track with this series. Uh, if we're not dying to Withers, that's a good thing. Uh, so if you did enjoy, make sure you click that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoyed it and you want to keep up to date and see some more. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mr. Norsby. I will catch you all next time.